So far, we have studied nodal analysis, which is a systematic way of uh, setting down the equations for the circuit and using matrix inversion to solve for the node voltage variables in the circuit. Now, the limitation is that whatever we have studied so far applies to circuits with independent current sources and resistors. Of course, we can have other components in the circuit such as independent voltage sources and also control sources. So, what we are going to do now is to adapt nodal analysis for use in those cases. The case of uh, circuits with resistors and only independent current sources is the easiest for uh, nodal analysis, but uh, it can be used for others with a little bit of tweak. Okay. So, let us take this circuit which has a voltage source looks very similar to the circuit we used earlier except that one of the resistors is replaced by a voltage source. Okay? Now, what is it that we did when we carried out nodal analysis? We took every node as usual I will define this to be the reference node and these node voltages are V 1, V 2 and V 3. Okay. Now, we looked at every node and at that node, we wrote K C L equations showing the currents flowing out of uh, that node being equal to the independent current being injected into that node. Okay. Now, what is the problem when we have a voltage source? Clearly, we have to write I 1 1 plus I 1 2 to be equal to the current being pushed here which is I 1. Okay. The problem here is that uh, we cannot relate this I 1 2 the current through the voltage source to the voltage of the voltage source. Now, if we have a resistor and let us say I have V 1 and V 2 on either end of the resistor. So, the voltage across the resistor is V 1 minus V 2. Now, this is enough to tell me what the current is by Ohm's law that current will be V 1 minus V 2 divided by R, where R is the value of the resistor. Okay. On the other hand, if you have a voltage source with V 1 and V 2 at either ends, the voltage of the voltage source of course, is V 1 minus V 2. It has to be for these two voltages to be V 1 and V 2. Now, there is no relationship between this current here through the voltage source and the voltage across the voltage source. In fact, the definition of the voltage source is that it maintains a given voltage regardless of what current is flowing through it. So, you cannot determine the current through a voltage source from the voltage of the voltage source. Okay. The current in a voltage source is determined by whatever it is connected to external constraints. Okay. So, when I write my equation for uh, node 1, I would write I 1 1 plus I 1 2 equals I 1. I 1 1 of course, is V 1 divided by R 1 1, but I 1 2, I do not know, I cannot express it uh, in terms of voltages and element relationships. So, I have to keep I 1 2 as it is. Okay. So, this is still a variable and the same problem occurs with node 2. Basically, the voltage source is connected between node 1 and node 2. So, again at node 2, I have to write I 2 2 plus I 1 3 minus I 1 2, because I am taking all the currents to be flowing away from the node to be equal to 0. Okay. So, I have to write minus I 1 2 plus I 2 2 plus I 1 3 to be equal to 0, because no independent current source is injecting into node 2. 
again I do not know the value of minus I 1 2. I 2 2 and I 1 3 I can relate to the voltages and resistor values. Okay. This is the essential problem when we have voltage sources in a circuit and we have to carry out nodal analysis. The currents in voltage sources cannot be related to the voltage across the voltage sources. Okay. So, what is it that we do? So, you notice that again the voltage source is connected between node 1 and node 2 and in node 1 this I 1 2 appears with a positive sign and in node 2 it appears with a negative sign. Okay. It does not matter in which direction we take I 1 2, we could have taken this way or leftwards, but in one of the node equations it is getting pushed into the node and it will be subtracted from the left hand side and for the other node it will be pulled away from the node, it will be flowing away from the node and it will be added to the left hand side. Okay. So, clearly we cannot use this I 1 2 in our equations. So, we have to eliminate it and that we can do by combining the equations for nodes 1 and 2. Okay. So, let us look at that. So, again I will take I 1 2 that way okay. and for node 1 I would write V 1 times G 1 1 plus I 1 2 equals I 1. For node 2 I would write minus I 1 2 plus the current through R 2 2 which is V 2 times G 2 2 plus the current through R 1 3 which basically gives you V 2 times G 1 3 minus V 3 times G 1 3 equals 0. Okay. Now, if I sum these two equations, what will I get? This I 1 2 goes away and we will have V 1 times G 1 1 plus V 2 times G 2 2 plus G 2 3 minus V 3 times G 1 3 to be equal to 0. Okay. So, we have combined the equations for nodes 1 and 2 into a single equation and we do not have this problem of uh, the unknown current in the voltage source, because the unknown current in the voltage source is going from node 1 to node 2, it appears with a plus sign in the equation for node 1, minus sign in the equation for node 2 and gets cancelled out when I add the two equations. Okay. So, that is fine. So, we have got rid of the unwanted variable, but now the problem is that we have lost one of the equations. Before I had three variables V 1, V 2 and V 3 and I had three equations K C L at uh, nodes 1, 2 and 3, but now I have combined the equations at nodes 1 and 2 into a single equation. So, instead of two equations I have only one for uh, both nodes 1 and 2, but uh, I do have the constraint of the voltage source. So, that gives me the missing equation. Okay. Meaning, I lost one equation because I added KCL equations for nodes 1 and 2. On the other hand, I also know that this V 0 will constrain V 1 and V 2. Okay. That means, that V 1 minus V 2 equals V 0. Okay. So, this voltage source equation So, I have this voltage source equation in place of the missing equations. Okay. So, what are my uh, three equations now? I have a combined equation for nodes 1 and 2, which are those nodes? Those are the nodes between which the voltage source is connected. So, I have V 1 times G 1 1 plus V 2 times G 2 2 plus G 2 3 minus V 3 times G 1 3 equals 
I 1 ok. What are my three equations for nodes 1 and 2 between which the voltage source is connected? I have a single equation which is V 1 times G 1 1 plus V 2 times G 2 2 plus G 2 3 minus V 3 times G 2 3 equals I 1 okay. and for node 3 I have the same equation as before. So, V 3 times G 2 3 plus G 3 3 minus V 2 times G 2 3 equals I 3. And finally, I have the voltage source equation itself, which is that V 1 minus V 2 equals V naught, the value of the voltage source. So, again I have uh, three equations in uh, three variables. The three variables are V 1, V 2 and V 3 and I can solve for these three variables. Okay.